In this section, I'm going to introduce you to one of the most important semiconductor device that is MOSFET. If you take laptop, tablets or mobiles, they come with electronic chips, which consist of digital and analog circuitry inside them, which are primarily designed with MOSFETs. So MOSFETs are so important that how much ever I tell about them, it will only be a very small fraction of what they actually do to current day electronics. So uh, if you look at the expansion of MOSFET, it stands for Metal Oxide Semiconductor Field Effect Transistor. We have seen MOS diode in the previous videos where we understood a MOS capacitor, which is also called a MOS diode. And MOSFETs are broadly classified into two categories. One is enhancement type and the other one is depletion type. So even this is divided into two subcategories each based on the channel that we have. One is N-channel enhancement MOSFET, P-channel enhancement MOSFET, N-channel depletion MOSFET, P-channel depletion MOSFET. So if I show you the structures of these MOSFETs in a very simple way, you have to always remember that MOSFETs are four terminal devices. I've shown here the source terminal, gate terminal, drain terminal, and bulk terminal. And in fact, uh, I've intentionally not shown the fourth terminal because most of the time as we go through this course, we are not going to see the bulk terminal much. But you have to remember that MOSFET is a four terminal device. We have already seen MOS capacitor in the previous videos. This is the metal and this is the oxide and this is the semiconductor. That's why it is called MOS. But simply understand, I'm just picking this N channel enhancement type MOSFET. Why is this called source? Why is it gate and why is it drain? We have seen in MOS capacitor, which is in fact exactly this structure, where when we apply negative potential to gate, we get positive charges here, which is not going to help anything between source and drain because there will be a high potential barrier here and depletion width, where there won't be any current flow if we apply potential difference across source and drain. If you see here, source and drain are of same type in terms of doping. But when you apply positive potential, this region starts depleting. And then if you apply potential greater than threshold voltage at gate, there will be inversion in this region. When we have inversion, which means this region will be N type, which means it's going to build a bridge or a channel between these two regions of heavily doped N regions. Hence, when there is a potential difference applied between source and drain, there will be current flow through them because there is a channel. That is how a MOSFET would allow current to flow through it because of the control that happens at gate. This is N-channel MOSFET because we're going to have a N-channel between source and drain when we apply gate potential which is greater than threshold voltage. In fact, we are controlling what happens in the semiconductor to create the channel between source and drain by gate. That's why it is called gate, which controls the channel creation between source and drain. Now, why is this called source and why is this called drain? This is called source because it is going to supply the majority carriers that will flow through the channel to drain. In this case, it is electrons because it is n-type. So, in general, the source will be grounded and drain will be applied with the positive potential. And when we apply Vg here, which is positive, and let's say greater than Vth, we actually create a channel here. Let me just show you here, we create a channel. Due to which there will be current flow. The current will be in this direction, which we call Id, let's say here. When current is flowing in this direction, there will be electrons flowing in this direction which means source is actually supplying the majority carriers here, electrons. And drain is basically draining them, which is taking them away. So hence, we call this terminal source and we call this terminal drain. The simple way to remember this is, because it has to supply electrons and drain has to drain the electrons, drain has to be always at positive potential with respect to source. Now people might say, oh, this device is actually symmetric, why can't I use source as drain and drain as source? I mean, it is symmetric, so you can flip them. 
But you have to always remember, whichever terminal is higher potential compared to the other terminal, the higher potential terminal is drain and the lower potential terminal is source. So now um, I'm going to show you an analogy which makes things simple to understand. I'm taking an example of tap. So I'm taking them in different conditions. And if you see here, I'm taking for N-channel enhancement MOSFET only. I'm not discussing P-channel enhancement MOSFET. And similarly, in depletion type MOSFET, I'm taking only N-channel. I'll tell you why in a few minutes, why I'm going to actually take only N-channels. In case of a tap, we have this knob with which we can control whether water flows or not. If you look at this, I'm going to take this side as analogous to source and this is like drain and we have this like gate. Source would be having a lot of water in this case because it, the tap might be connected to an overhead tank or whatever. There will be water here. Unless the gate allows the water to go through, the drain would not drain them. So gate is controlling the water to flow through. So what I'm saying is I'm going to take this analogy with respect to potentials, but of course there are two different kinds. So let's say uh, looking at this N-channel MOSFET, let's say when we have zero potential at gate, there won't be any channel here. There won't be any channel. Hence, there cannot be a current flow from drain to source, which means electron flow from source to drain. Hence, I'm showing here at zero, there is no water flow. This is source gate and drain. There is no water flow here. When it is negative, obviously there is no water flow because we are in accumulation mode at the time when Vg is negative. And Vg is zero, there is still no channel formed. But when we come beyond threshold voltage, Vgs is greater than threshold voltage, obviously channel is formed. And in that case, I can say this tap is actually open and water would flow through and we would have water flow. I'm summarizing here that below VTH there is no channel formed, hence there cannot be water flow, like there is no current flow. When the voltage at gate relative to source, if it is greater than VTH, there would be water flow, which means that is current flow. So the gate controls if the current flows or not. Now coming to depletion type MOSFET. Now the difference as we see here is, here to start with there is no channel. We have to apply potential to increase or enhance the channel so that current would flow through. That's the main intention, that's why it is called enhancement type MOSFET. But as in depletion type, to start with there is already channel implanted. Like if, if you see here this is all N type which is present. So there is already channel between source and drain. So at Vg is equal to zero itself, if you apply a potential difference across source and drain, there would be current flow because the channel is already there. So if you look at this at zero, I can say that there would be flow, right? Because there is channel and if you apply potential difference, it's going to flow. If I actually increase the potential at gate, increase the potential from zero, if I'm increasing the potential, what happens is because we apply positive, then this channel is negative because extra positive charges are put there will be more negative charges coming in this region hence the conductivity would increase as a result the current flow would even increase for the same vds applied in this case right similar to. so then the flow of current would be even higher we have to go to negative potentials when we get negative charges here the second case negative charges when you apply negative potential then this n-type region would be depleted. And if you go below the threshold voltage, where this entire channel would be depleted, then there wouldn't be a channel to allow current flow between source and drain. Hence, there wouldn't be current flow. In similar analogy case, if threshold voltage below, there won't be flow of water here. So if you look at the comparison between the enhancement type and depletion type, in enhancement type, the summary is we have to enhance the channel to allow current flow. When we start, there is no channel at all. We have to enhance the channel by applying extra potential beyond VTH so that there would be current flow. 
so it means we have channel beyond vth no channel below vth now coming to this one in this depletion mosfet what we have to do is we have to deplete the channel to stop current flow so think about this here we have to enhance the channel to allow current flow here we have to deplete the channel to stop current flow now coming to the point of why we will be considering only n channel mosfets throughout the sequence of videos is because in n channel mosfets if you see a gate will be applied positive potential in which we are going to actually operate okay off and on and the drain potential also would be positive and the current direction we are going to take would be positive so if you look at the potentials and current they will all be positive when we take id versus vgs or id versus vds characteristics they will all be with the positive potentials and positive current flow hence we can draw all of them in the first quadrant so that there won't be confusions between plus or minus signs or any quadrant where we draw so that we can clearly spend our time in understanding the operation of the mosfet if you go to p channel mosfet it gets really plus minus kind of thing in fact the characteristics will be in the third quadrant by the way so hence we choose to actually uh, spend good amount of time on n channel mosfet so that we can get real good understanding of the mosfet and then you can expand into other mosfets if you talk about cmos technology which actually made the digital and analog design so good to make so many chips is because of enhancement type mosfets pmos and nmos together that is called complementary metal oxide semiconductor because these two are complementary to each other n and p so cmos that's why i keep telling enhancement mosfets are the most used mosfets in design